Rio sighed. I descended the stairs. The light from the phone, the only thing guiding my way. I had to be careful. I wanted to save everyone, not hurt them. If it was possible, I wanted to take care of this as peacefully as possible. I finally reached the door at the end of the stairs and slowly opened it. What waited for me beyond was a room as small as the storage room, but it wasn't as cramped or dark right now. It's just... Fucking Itsuki is here. I imagine him to just be sitting in that freaking black chair, right? Like an evil villain, and then he turns around and has a cat in his lap. Itsuki, who was sitting at the desk and reading through some paper, addressed me without raising his eyes. I took a few steps closer to him. Two of the drawers in the desk had been locked and I'd had no time to think of an alternative way to open them. Meanwhile, Itsuki seemed to have no problem with them, and was now reading the rest of what had been hidden in this desk. Broke? Huh? <laughs> what the fuck did you have the key? Oh shit, covered in blood of course, of course. Itsuki finally looked at me, dangling a key between his fingers. I didn't notice it back then, but his hand seemed to be stained in something red. Oh, it's not just his hand. His face, his shirt, everything. For a moment, I saw an image of him stabbing Sumika, but I pushed those thoughts aside. I had to concentrate on the matter at hand for now. The key he had in his hand was the same one he took from me. The one that unlocked the main doors to this room. Pierso? True. Like when you think a key opens a door, you don't think that the exact same key then also opens uh, drawers uh, in a on a desk. You know, you just think like, oh, this is only for the door. With that sarcastic comment, Itsuki threw the key to me. He handed me the two pieces of paper he was just reading. I ran my eyes through them. I wasn't as knowledgeable about this as my mother, but I could tell. It was a protocol for drug synthesis. But was this really about the antidote? If I brought this back and showed it to mother, she would probably understand. I had to take them with me. I ran my eyes through the second page too. At the bottom, it had a date from 16 years ago and a signature. A. Igusa. Oh, fucking fuck. It was indeed Yasunari's father. Igusa. Oh man. Didn't I just hear that name somewhere? <laughs> yep. <sighs> just just fuck off, Itsuki. The name momentarily shocked me. Itsuki ducked behind me and caught me in his arms. He seized my neck with one hand and dangled a knife in front of my eyes with the other. Whoa 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 whoa! It was already stained in blood. Please, please, I don't want to get uh, Sumika's AIDS, please. What do you mean for her sake? Put her out of her misery? Is that what you were thinking? You just killed her out of the kindness from your out of your heart? Is that what you're saying, Hayatsuki? Nobody's buying that shit. Her existence might not have been natural, but that didn't mean we had to kill her. She only attacked us because she was confused. 
I mean, she already met a terrible end because of the school, and now. His voice had an odd, viscous, condemning quality. The cold tip of the blade touched my cheek. Uh, his tone deepened. <laughs> he released his hold from my neck, but the next moment I felt myself flung toward the wall. I slammed into it and crumpled down to the floor. No, no, no. Please. Please don't hurt her, dude. Don't hurt her. Oh my god, he even says from misguided kindness, meaning that yeah, you did act out of kindness, even though it wasn't, you know, it was kind of misguided, it wasn't necessary, it didn't cause kindness, at least not to Itsuki himself, because obviously he's the one that's saying he, he felt misery from whatever she was doing. But that's no reason to just fucking kill somebody. Oh, you caused me misery, even though you meant to do something good. Fuck you, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I jumped as the knife pierced the wall just to the left of my face. Huh? Why was I so scared? You fucking kid! This is what you deserve! What the hell was that? Ah. Uh, was that her father or something? That was... Or is that his father? Itsuki was abused when he was little? Because his parents had something to do with this whole business, this whole shenanigan? This time, I could feel the cold sensation of the knife at my thigh. Knife. Who gave you permission to talk, huh? I don't know who's... is this like flashback memories from Ryo? Or is she somehow seeing Itsuki's motives or something? I was fine. I would be fine. Itsuki was... I was fine. I would be fine. Itsuki was...復讐したいんだ。そのための情報が欲しい。復讐って潰したいの。できないって言うのか。相手にしてる対象の大きさくらいは覚悟してるよ。でもこうやって小さなところから思い知らせてやることはできる。Like killing us doesn't help anything, Itsuki. 違う。それなら。yeah, we're, we're all trying to take them down, okay? Dude! Ugh. Oh, what? There's blood on it! A sharp pain at my thigh! Oh my god, he stabbed her thigh? Dude! I could see blood starting to spill from the wound. My heart rate increased. My head felt dizzy. It hurt. It hurts? Well, that's great! Oh my god, a fucking cigarette? I could feel the knife slowly ravaging the insides of my leg. Oh my god, he's still poking inside of it, like, or like twisting it around inside her leg. Oh, dude! Making sickening sounds. What the fuck, dude? Uh, it hurt, it hurt, it hurt! Why? What did I do to deserve this shit? Uh, yo, you've always been a good girl. I knew that there was no one there to save me. 
but it was probably because I did something bad. That was why my, mo my mother abandoned me, and I had to be punished for days on end. Whoa, 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 what? Her mother abandoned her? But I thought her mother's working. What? I had to be strong. You have forgotten by tomorrow. <laughs> These are probably the bad memories, right? The bad memories that she herself has suppressed. Ah, the scary man seemed to be leaving. Today wasn't that bad. But it still hurt too much for me to stand. It hurts. Someone. A scenario. What? Yasunari? Who the fuck was that? Who was that man that seemed to abuse someone and it seems to be it, that it was Komia who was being abused by him? What the fuck? I wonder if Komia is doing okay. No, she's not doing fine, dude. She is not doing good. You go down there and save her right now. Ayana just stared at the ground, saying nothing this whole time. Ayana, don't your hands hurt like this? She had them tied behind her back. I guess it wasn't as bad if, as if she was tied with a real rope, but it still looked pretty stiff and uncomfortable to me. Hey, I'm gonna untie you, okay? I couldn't look at her like this anymore. I placed my hands on the strings, but Ayana didn't flip out this time. She was still conscious, right Ayana, hello? It was pretty late, and I was worried about those side effects or whatnot. I gave her a closer look. Her eyes were looking hollow like before, but it definitely didn't seem like she was unconscious. Damn it, Suki. He really tied her heart there. I finished untying the strings around her hands for starters, but as I was about to move to her legs, one of her freed hands suddenly seized my shoulder. Uh, Ayana? I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. I'm, I'm here with you. I'm gonna stay with you. Her eyes were still fixed on the floor. I... I wasn't going anywhere. Just trying to untie your legs. What do you mean? What? If I untie your legs, you won't be able to walk? I don't see the logic in that. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Huh? What the hell is she talking about? What? They only just attached them? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why does it... Wait, what? Did she have like leg transplants or something? What the fuck? Did she have new legs attached to her body or something? Ayana raised her face to protest in some sort of a twisted smile. Do you even understand what you're saying? What? Okay, she she's maybe maybe he 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 gave her like some sort of drug and she's just drugged out of her fucking mind right now. Like what? Who the hell cut your legs off and how the fuck is that fucking guy Itsuki fixing you? He can't fucking do that, okay? I looked at her legs. I couldn't see blood or any marks to indicate any of that. Yeah, she's drugged out of her fucking mind. That doesn't make goddamn sense. Just look at them yourself. I placed my hand on the strings tying her legs. <laughs> what the fuck did he do to her or tell her? To make her believe that if I pull the string off of her legs, like her real legs are just gonna fall off or something. What the fuck? I held her down so she wouldn't fall over with the whole chair. It was pretty clear she was completely out of her mind. Is that how it got when the drug took full effect? It's gonna be fine, okay? I knew she wasn't listening, but I continued to untie her. 
Her legs were tied as hard as her hands, but I somehow managed to get the strings off, despite her constant struggling and shouting. Ah! Ah! Oh, ah! My ears! At that moment, Ayana let out an ear-piercing scream, almost as though she was about to get murdered. But look, your legs are fine, okay, Ayana? Ayana, your legs are fine. Just look at them. There was nothing wrong with her legs at all. Is she like seeing her legs on the floor right now that they're not attached to her body anymore? Ugh. Ayana screamed through the sobs, not even trying to raise her face. I was doing nothing wrong, but I nonetheless started feeling bad. Oh you motherfucker. I heard Itsuki's mocking voice come from the secret entrance. I turned toward it to see Itsuki closing into us with a smile. What the fuck did you do to her, you sick bastard? What the hell did you do to Ayana? And where is Komiya? And is it me or does he have even more blood on his face right now? You motherfucker! He took the strings from my hands and kneeled in front of Ayana. Unconscious? Dude! Ignoring my question, Itsuki addressed Ayana in a disgustingly sweet voice and proceeded to tie her legs again and then of course Ayana in her fucking mentally broken state is gonna think that he's fixing her again. His hands were covered in blood. Ayana wasn't resisting him. She rubbed her tears off, but I could still hear a sob or two escape her lips. Whatever this was, it was insane. After finishing tying Ayana, Itsuki stood up again and considered her with pitying eyes. <laughs> All the fun? What fun have we had, dude? What the hell are you talking about? I couldn't comprehend a word he said. Rightful punishment? All the fun? Finally, he shifted his gaze to me. He brushed some blood off his face with a sleeve and faced me with a dead serious expression. No, no, I got that part. Yeah, I was, but... Komiya told us all about it on the roof. This school was manufacturing weird drugs behind the scenes and using us as the guinea pigs. His face grew even more serious as he narrowed his eyes. I'm special, bitch. How the hell am I supposed to know? But there was a weird mark crossing out my name in that registry. That's what it means, right? <laughs> Itsuki fell into thoughtful silence for a moment. Oh shit, he didn't know that. Uh oh, we gave him more uh, information. And even if I was a test subject or whatever, it would mean I was administered a drug and experimented on without my knowledge, and I couldn't give him a clear answer. But adding what I knew of my parents and what Komiya told me, well, that possibility was probably pretty high. At the beginning, you mean? Yeah. Right after I was called out to the inner yard by an underclassman. So you were lying about getting hit yourself? Ah. <sighs> 
was about to protest, but decided against it. So what? Oh, Komiya. I heard different people react to the drugs differently. Isn't that just what it is? Tashkani,年々改良はされているとキクシ。もしかしたらヤスナリは薬との相性が抜群にいい体質だったのかもしれない。Then、ただ、小耳に挟んだんだ。he interrupted me before I could reiterate that there was nothing particularly strange with me after all then. Is that a fact? I didn't even know about the apparent surface excuse. もしそれが本当ならその一個人の都合でたくさんの人間が犠牲になってるいや、yeah, what else is new? That, I feel like that's just the, the fucking world of medicine, right? If, if people can make profit off of other people's death, people will still fucking do it. They just care about the fucking money. Yeah. そして俺はさっき地下室の鍵のついた引き出しから Oh god. Did Komiya tell him? Komiya told him, didn't he? <gasps> e Igusa? Igusa Akinori? There was a business card with that name in the principal's desk as well. Why does Igusa Akinori keep coming up in relation to the school? But I really didn't know anything until today. I haven't even even met my parents since I was born. Maybe. You're saying someone just made me forget everything before this? So it's Itsuki pulled out a knife and pointed it at me. Oh, come on, dude. There's no need to get a knife involved in this, okay? Please. Oh, God. Oh, shit. And he knows, right? Uh, the thing about Komiya is that she didn't really start remembering things either until she basically got put in a really high stress situation, which was basically her getting fucking stabbed, right? So he's gonna think the same thing's gonna work on me as well. Which it might, I don't know, but I don't wanna find out. I don't want him to stab me for me to find out, okay? He drew closer with a freaky smile on his face. I took a step back. Huh? Me? だとしたら、俺はヤスナリが持ってる情報を手に入れなきゃいけない。ヤスナリはどうしたらそれを思い出す？それとも？Could I really be the 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 principal? Like that is a something to take into consideration, right? 
like maybe me and my father's I don't know if like the other Igusa Akinori actually died my father or something I mean if it's the original principle then it would be right if it was the first principle because that one we know for sure died it could be that his similarly like Sumika's body slash ghost is roaming around here it could be that mine merged with him together as well but wouldn't that also mean that I'm kind of dead I don't know exactly I don't I don't really know how the hell that would work out but Itsuki seems to think something along those lines that I might be that I don't know how that works out especially because we ourselves have so many memories from Ayana and all those other things and as far as we know, we're, we're still alive, right? Like, otherwise that whole Ayana ending wouldn't have happened in the first place. Because I'm pretty sure if we were dead, we would only remain here in this place. We wouldn't be able to escape. Hell if I know. I tried taking another step back, but my back hit the wall. Itsuki didn't stop. I didn't even know if whatever he was saying was anywhere close to the truth. If Ayana's unstable behavior was any indication though, I imagine one needed prolonged exposure to a stressful environment for the drug's side effects to kick in. I could tell my heart had shifted to a slightly faster rhythm, but I was perfectly calm on all other accounts. Perhaps this was a bit abnormal, like he said. <laughs> The tip of his knife pressed against my chest. It seemed like the blade was covered in blood of someone else already. Oh yeah, Sumika's and Komiya's blood are on that. It's like a mixture of both of their bloods together. Ugh. I wonder why Itsuki was so hateful toward us. I could tell he had a problem with that drug. But... But in that case... Itsuki, did Komiya explain everything to you? Oh really? She didn't tell you anything? I mean, as much as a fucking crazy psychopath Itsuki is, right? At the end of the day, we have a similar goal. We want this to stop from happening and we want to take out the people that are causing all of this weird fucking shit. Itsuki has just taken a completely, entirely different approach. His approach is just death and destruction. Whereas for us, we just want to get to the truth, want to find out what the fuck happened and just stop it. Stop the people who are suffering from it from suffering. And Itsuki is actually one of the people that's indirectly suffering from it. But he's causing us pain, the people who are trying to help him. Like, dude, do you not fucking understand? Hmm. I wonder if Komiya was thinking the same thing as I was. It seemed like they were both opposed to the existence of the drug. Their motivation coincided on that point at least. In that case, I've got to agree with her. This whole thing would probably get less complicated if we cooperated. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be friends, man. That's not it at all. I've just got a feeling that you're misunderstanding something. We're trying to find the truth. We, we don't use the same tactics that you would use, okay, Itsuki? Just shut up and listen for a second! <coughs> oh, what? I kicked him in the stomach! Oh, damn! Yasunari getting violent! He had his guard completely down. My kick sent him falling down on his back on the floor, providing me with quite a bit of space to move. Quickly, grab the knife. Take the knife away from the psychopath. The knife slipped out of his hand and land on the ground with a clank. We weren't going anywhere like this. It didn't even make sense for us to be on the opposing sides. Itsuki had yet to stand up, but I decided to continue to talk. 
Komi was turning the school upside down looking for information that would help her stop the nonsense that's going on in this fucking place. How is that any different from what you're saying? <laughs> Itsuki slowly stood up, giving me a surprised look. You look like you're being affected by that stupid drug yourself. If you can understand what I'm saying, then join us, goddammit! <laughs> Tsuki hung his head down and fell silent. I wonder if that made him calm down a little, or made him even more angry. <laughs> yep, definitely the second one. But what I heard next was a quiet laugh. <laughs> yep, that certainly made him more crazy. Holy shit, dude. It grew louder and louder. What did he find so funny? <laughs> He's just so consumed by wanting fucking revenge. He's not even listening to reason or just the truth. His face was a mask of sarcasm. What do you mean, so what? So what? But no. Of course not, that shit is impossible, but does that mean you gotta take even more lives for yourself then as well? Oh, look, look, so many people died because of this shit. Let's kill the other people, also kill the other people. Like, then it's just a vicious cycle of people dying. Itsuki picked up the knife. I prepared myself. But he just returned it back inside his jacket. Mumbling, he returned back to me and seized my collar. And with that, he punched me with his right fist before I could even react. Ugh. Of course he would get revenge for that kick in his stomach. Now it was my turn to collapse to the floor. Luckily, I didn't bite my tongue or anything, but I imagine that'll at least leave a mark. What the fuck competition? Itsuki looked down on me with a smile. He continued. What? What the hell is that supposed to be? I stroke my aching cheek. That kind of sounds like a self-destruct button. Bomb. So you want to compete to see who will find their thing first? Ah. Really? But we aren't planning to kill you. So you it's not even about goodwill. No. Don't get me wrong, like, Itsuki kinda deserves to die, but I don't want to kill him, you know? I don't want to be the person that gets blood on my hands as well. Oh god, we gotta go to her. How? Like, how can we both carry Komiya and Ayana out of this place? With that, Itsuki silently left the room. Ayana sat all limp in her chair. Yeah, she's not gonna fucking walk. Was she alright? No, no, no. Her legs are all over the floor. Worried, I came closer to her, but she seemed to be breathing steadily. It seemed like she was just asleep. What a time to be fucking napping, girl. Relieved, I took my jacket off, put it on her shoulders, and hurried down the stairs to look for Komiya. Oh, please, please still be alive.
As I entered a dark, underground room, I noticed Komia lying with her back against the wall right away. There was a pool of blood at her legs. He said she was hurt, but it seemed like her leg, that was most likely the source of that pool of blood, was already bandaged with something white. Whoa, girl. Did Komia do that herself? Komia, can you hear me? Komia! I was a bit hesitant to move her with that leg, so I lightly slapped her cheeks a few times. Wake up, Komia. And with that, her eyelids slowly opened, and her red eyes fixed on me. Yasunari. <laughs> All the girls just needed a little of a beauty sleep. She tried to get up, but the pain in her leg was most likely too bad to allow her to that, and so she just grimaced instead. You're hurt, so don't move! What happened with Itsuki? Komiya glanced at her leg and paused. I didn't. Who the fuck bandaged you? No. It was bandaged by the time I came here. Did Itsuki bandage it then? That's the only possibility. If it wasn't Ryo herself, then it could only be Itsuki. That left but one person who could have done that. Did he realize that he overdid it? Or was that an act of pity? So, Maybe he's just like struggling inside himself. Like you know, for so many years he's just been, he's all he's wanted was fucking revenge, right? Because he's been plotting this for many many years, I'm pretty sure. Like it, it already started affecting him early on in his childhood, right? And it, it even affects him till this very day, Itsuki. So it's been bothering him for so fucking long. Even if he knows we're right, even if he's partly listening to what we're saying, he ju you just can't throw a plan away that you've been working on for let's say 10 years or something, right? You can't just simply throw that away just because one person s says one sentence that completely kind of, you know, negates everything that you've been doing for the past 10 years. It just doesn't happen that quickly. Part of him probably realizes like, yes, maybe we should work together. But then he just thinks like, oh fuck, no, 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 revenge, revenge, stick to your plan, dude, stick to your plan. You've been wanting this for so long, right? Sweet, sweet revenge, kill them all. We had kind of a fight upstairs, and after that he left. Komiya, have you heard about some sort of a self-destruct mechanism in the school? Yeah. <laughs> I see. He said it was a rumor, but if he was serious about it, design plans would be a place he'd start at too. But before looking for them, we had to do something about Komiya's leg. That's right. Itsuki told me something about you succumbing to the side effects of that thing. Are you alright now? <laughs> The paper with my father's signature on it? So. <sighs> Komi was about to start rummaging through her bag, but... Wait, we have to bring you to the infirmary first. There are a few other things I'd like to discuss too. So. I'll carry you girl, come on let's go. She slowly tried to stand up. You won't be able to walk with that leg. I'll carry you. Just come here. Jump on my back. Or are we carrying her princess style? Whoa! Princess style it is! I coiled my hands around her shoulders and knee pits and stood up. It was basically a princess carry hold. Komiya didn't resist too much. Probably because it would have hurt too. It's okay. I don't mind carrying you like this girl. She seemed both depressed and embarrassed about the whole thing. You're pretty light, so it's not a problem. Also, if you don't want me to put my hand on your breast, you'd better hold tighter to me, okay? Yeah, if you don't want to get fondled. 
<laughs> I tried to lighten the mood, which resulted in her giving me a look of disbelief, which soon changed into a look of reproach. Secretly, yeah, mainly because it's the truth. Where did that come from? I just said it for your sake. <laughs> well, that, that, those are your words, Ryo. I didn't call you flat. That's... The idea might have crossed my mind. <laughs> you know what a loaded question is. We returned back to the old principal's room in a slightly lighter mood. Oh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with her, man. Itsuki somehow mind fucked her or something? Komiya noticed the sleeping Ayana. Yeah, she was really confused and screaming. But it seems like she fell asleep while I was busy with Itsuki. I'm not sure how I feel about leaving her alone like this. But. What was I supposed to do? I didn't know if Ayana would be the sane or would be sane once she woke up. I suppose it wasn't impossible for me to carry them both, but with Komiya in this state, I would rather not carry her in an uncomfortable position. Huh? But... What kind of magic trick are you gonna use? She kinda did that before too, right? In the science room? She just somehow has a way. I mean, maybe because of some of the tricks that her mother taught her. Because of her special treatment, right? Or whatever. But she seems to be able to... To make Ayane calm down a bit. If they are currently under the, the effects of the medicine, the side effects. Hmm. I guess she did handle her pretty well back in the science room. This place didn't seem that clean, so I'd rather treat her in the infirmary. But... Okay, I'll be as fast as I can. I set Komiya down next to Ayana and left the room. The dark and lonely corridor felt oddly chilly to the skin.